G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to play with some citric acid. But first, let me give you an update of where we're at. Five, four, three, two, one. Also lonely is go. <laughs> Last night, after I'd finished what I was doing, I um, went for a rummage and a hunt to look for some headlight parts, and I do have a couple of headlight options, and I've chosen one for the time being. But I did find another early distributor, which I thought I had, which has the, um, the rotor button in there. But I stumbled across finally after, oh mate, I've searched and searched, my crab distributor, my two bolt distributor. So this is the one I'm going to run with. I've ordered a new rotor button for it. Um, everything else looks good. I've got a spare condenser laying around. So we'll go with points ignition. Um, I'll leave that electronic one for the other motor. And um, yeah, we'll stick to the good old reliable points. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm pretty happy to stumble across this thing. So I've got a heap of parts in order. Brake master cylinders on the way. Um, ignition parts are on the way so when they arrive we should be able to fire it up um, what else is coming headlight parts are on the way there's a heap of stuff I've got a heap of stuff coming so oh head gasket too but while we're waiting for all that no better time now than to start on these front wheels and I'm gonna try and attempt to get these crusty old tires off there hard as a rock they're like um, Bakelite they're that old Gonna have to grind them off, I think, or cut them off with a Cipro. Uh, but we'll get them off, and then I'll show you the wonders of citric acid. Rock hard. It's gonna be a challenge. They must have used high tensile or something because that's it's never that hard to get through. <sighs> Righto, oh, we've got one off, got another one to go. But as you can see, it's pretty rusty. I don't know if you can see, but there is black paint under some of that. So, what the citric acid will do, and you'll see it. When we're done there'll be no rust left on this thing and the paint whatever's left will still be there and um, it'll be pretty much ready for paint so it just gets rid of everything um, as far as rust goes so i'll do the other tire then we'll set up the citric acid and um, it's going to take probably a couple of days on this um, but we'll show you the progress so anyway next wheel <laughs> So the beauty thing about this is that there's no preparation unless there's grease and grime and stuff like that but there's no grease or anything on these you just throw them straight in so let me show you how to do it so i'm just using um food grade citric acid i'm pretty sure it's the same stuff they put on you know they sour lollies and stuff like that i just got it off ebay four and a half kilos of it it's lasted me for ages anything that's chromed anything that's steel anything that's got rust on it it'll come up perfect um, you'll be surprised how good it works don't put alloy stuff in it though because alloy in this stuff doesn't mix it'll chew your alloy away that's from my experience anyway so my main um, way to do things is with this old blue tub cut in half or a third and I'll probably chuck in this maybe I don't know 
my little measure is a um, a lid off a spray can, probably two full things of that straight in. Actually, you know what? Let's go for a third. I've never actually tasted this stuff, so um, let's go for it, eh? Oh yeah, that's sour. That's what they use. Oh, boy. The aftertaste isn't too bad actually, but that initial, my goodness. Eyes are watering, but yeah. There's your warheads, your sour lollies right there. Oh. So your only other magic ingredients is water. Once you've given it a good stir, all those granules are dissolved. What you have now is some high quality lemon squash. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Righto, so what we do now, put the wheels in. So depending on how heavy the rust is, um, you can get results in a day. 24 hours but I'm thinking maybe a couple of days for these guys but we'll have a look tomorrow and um, we'll see where we're up to then hey righto well it's been two days and um, I can see heaps more black paint on those wheels so you're not going to see an immediate result until they're washed so I'm going to get them out and um, I'll get the pressure washer on them and we'll see what they're like if they need to go for another day or two that's not a problem um, but I reckon we're gonna be pretty sweet about that seriously you could spend I think some places charge up to a hundred dollars a wheel to sandblast that pack of um, citric acid I think for four and a half kilos and I've had it for a few years now I think I paid fifteen dollars for it awesome look at it so I'm gonna give them a quick brush down now get rid of the last of the rust, another hose down, a little dry in the sun, it's a beautiful day and um, we'll get some paint on them, tubes haven't arrived, when the tubes get here we'll stick the tyres on. <laughs> So 
on this rim I have found a questionable area and a tiny pinhole, a rust hole. So it's not the end of the world, that's what welders are for. Don't be scared to fix these up, I've done them before. And if you can, <clears throat> if you know there, it's like a sharp edge. So what I'm going to do, with filling in that hole, I'll probably blow it out a bit more because it's thin. But I'm going to resurface that whole area and make it nice and strong again and round it off so it doesn't dig into the tube. Um, there's also a couple of dings, you can see that there. We'll get them straight as well before we put some paint on it. The other one's clean, ready to go pretty much. Bit of a ding there, I'll straighten out. But yeah, this one needs a little bit of work. Hammer blows have exposed another hole, but we'll fix all that up. Ended up being a fairly big section, but we're done. Ended up having another hole over here, so there's about five holes all together that I had to fill. Hopefully my tubes are off today, we can chuck them on, chuck the tyres on and stick them on the car. But if not, it'll be another day. Righto, so my tubes have arrived and I've got these um, awesome old school Dunlop 450x17s, Australian made tyres. I don't know how old they are but they're brand new. Um, and they're going on the front. So what I'm going to do, save a whole heap of mucking around. I'm just going to magic these on. There you go, perfect. Let's chuck them on the car. The beaut thing about these things too, they're gonna bring the front end down about three inches, so. more of these if you've got any laying around don't have to be perfect these are off the back but we need to dress these wheels up beautiful yeah. wheels are on they look awesome that's what you'd call Biggs Littles and um, it's definitely made it have a little bit of rake, there's a bit of attitude now in that chassis, which is cool. It's about three inches, it wouldn't be far off it. I'm very happy with that. Hard to see in this little confined space, but so here I am tucked away in the back corner so I can give you a shot. We are getting very close to firing this engine up. All I'm waiting for now is a rotor button, so stick around. 
Um, I keep saying this, but next video will be the brakes. Um, I'm waiting on a tool so I can finish flaring my um, pipes. But um, yeah, it was a size I didn't have. But yeah, they're just about done. Um, yeah, and fire up. And then we've got to get into that cab. That's going to kill me. But has to be done. I'm running out of time. Eight weeks I've got. That's the end of this video. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Cheers.